Hi everybody, my name is Tanya Munoz and I'm sorry I couldn't be there today uh, to thank you all in person but um, I wanted to say thank you over the video and just um, introduce myself and tell you a little bit about CIDP and what I went through to get into remission from CIDP. Um, I graduated from Rutgers University in 2006 and then I started law school at Rutgers University as well and um, after my first year of law school I had to take a medical leave of absence because I was so sick from the CIDP. Um, it was out of control and I was doing very 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 badly. So um, I decided to go under an experimental treatment at um, Northwestern University in Chicago that would put me into remission from CIDP. It's um, called the stem cell transplant, also known to most people as a bone marrow transplant. And I had this done in June of 2009. So it's been six months after my transplant and I'm doing very, very well. Um, I was lucky enough to have my insurance pay for most of it. But um, as most of you know, insurance doesn't pay all of it. So I had a large portion that um, that I am paying for myself. Um, I'm actually going back to Chicago next week for follow-up treatment and to check to see if I'm really in remission and to see how I'm doing, which I'm doing really great. Um, CIDP stands for Chronic Inflammation Demyelinating Polyneuropathy, which is basically an inflammation of the nervous system. So your um, slowly your nerves start conducting really slowly which affects your muscles and you get weaker and weaker so um, I had a lot of weakness in my legs and basically I could barely walk um, you know I had a lot of fatigue I had um, just I, uh, tremors in my hands I was so weak I was basically in bed all the time and now I'm doing very well I'm, I'm walking again which to most people you know most of us take for granted but something I could not do and I could not do well at all and um, I'm, I think I'm in remission so um, I had to go through this bone marrow transplant because basically it was the only thing that would wipe out this disease from my immune system and um, uh, I wonder underwent chemotherapy lots of it so um, you know as you guys could see I lost my hair but it's grown back and uh, it's grown back a little bit different than before but um, I'm doing very well and I just wanted to say thank you to everybody and um, it seems like stem cells is the way to go for the future it's gonna cure a lot of lot of diseases out there so um, I hope you all support stem cell research too because it definitely has made a great impact on my life I'm going back to school in January um, I'm still paying off my medical bills but you know everything that I've that I've paid and I'm gonna pay for this is so worth it because now I have my life back I can do things that I wanted to do before and um, that seem normal to people but are really hard <laughs> were really hard for me so I just wanted to say thank you thank you for taking up this philanthropy I hope you all um, learn a little bit about it from the person that's speaking about it and um, I just wanted to say thank you thank you for your support